In today's video, which is going to be the second one in the what I'm calling the Bug Out Jeep series, we're going to take a very long overdue look at what I consider an essential accessory if you've got any kind of an off-road vehicle. That's the high lift jack. We're going to take a look at that coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And as I said, this is going to be a second video of what I am at least temporarily calling the Bug Out Jeep series. I um, And that comes from, you know, a few years back I bought a Bronco, a 1988 Bronco, and I was calling it the, the Bug Out Bronco series because, honestly, because that just had a nice ring to it. <laughs> but I sold the Bronco, I bought the Jeep, and the um you know so i don't know if bug out jeep doesn't have quite doesn't roll off your tongue quite as well but, but that's what we're going to call it for now anyway but i said this was a long overdue video because you can see uh, oh right there the uh, folks at high lift jack sent me that jack to review gosh man i like three or four years ago and i owe them such a huge apology because i reviewed their tool bag and i and i, and I kept wanting to make the video i never did because the bumpers on the bronco I didn't think were were conducive to uh to using this jack because they were kind of they were jacked up themselves they were kind of bent up i just didn't think it'd be safe however right before i sold the bronco i had a flat tire so i figured okay last last resort i'm going to try this I hope it doesn't fall off the jack because the way the bumpers were in it it worked just fine so all that time i was waiting anyway shame on me um because it's been it was banged around the back of the bronco for literally four years three or four years without me doing a video and it, so um they probably think i'm a deadbeat so if you happen to be watching this folks at high lift i'm really really sorry hopefully this will make up for at least some of that delay but uh, we're going to talk about this but first i am um, speaking of the bug out bronco one of the, one of my most popular videos about that bronco wasn't even really about the bronco it was about my click belts. Um, I just had, got off the phone earlier today when so I brought this up with the owner of click belts and she told me that literally that that, that video for whatever reason put click belts on the map and I, I'm humbled by that but so let me just talk real quickly about click belts because they are a channel sponsor and I'm just going to show you my click belt right now. So this is the belt I wear every single day and it is a click belt. You can see that this is a two ply version and it supports my concealed carry pistol very well and uh, they have one ply, one ply, two ply, and even three ply, several different colors, but it's got fashionable yet very functional, genuine Austria Alpen Cobra buckle. And you can hear that they call it a click belt because it clicks. Um, super, super solid. This thing is strong enough. It pulled the Bronco. It lost, so far the score was Bronco zero, click belts three. So anyway, just want to give a big thanks to the folks at click belts for uh, sponsoring the channel and for making such a great product i literally wear this every single day as i said the click belts is a channel sponsor they have been for a long time and they're also part of my everyday wear i mean literally every day and you can make them part of your everyday wear and save 15 percent by using the coupon code sop15 at clickbelts.com so thanks again to the folks at click belts now let's talk about high lift jacks and i'm gonna take you over to the front of the old jeep here we we'll am talk about this jack i've got a couple of jacks to show you um, and then we're going to demo this thing and i'll tell you why i think high lift jacks are so cool and why i wouldn't trust my life to any other knockoff brand so let's do that okay so first of all this uh, is the high lift extreme version and they've got several different versions um their um high lift's been around for over a hundred years they are made in the usa okay 100 percent made in the usa first of all right off the bat you know that's good high lift jacks are available from around 110 bucks and up depending on which version this version is probably around 130 bucks because it's got some additional capabilities other than just being a jack let me say right up front i know you can go to harbor freight you can get what they're calling a farm jack for about 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks. And maybe you find them on sale for cheaper than that. You and I both know that those jacks are made in China. I'm not saying they're not any good, but I will say this. I'm not, I, I, I shop at Harbor Freight too sometimes, but uh, you may recall, speaking of recalls, you may recall a couple of months ago, I got a notice that they had these jack stands that Harbor Freight sells. I think they're Pittsburgh Steels, the brand, same brand as their, Har as their farm jacks that were recalled due to failures. Um, so that's, you know, when you're talking about lifting a car 
working on a car, working on something like this, A, you want it to be safe. You don't want, man, how much, is your life not worth another 40, 50 bucks potentially? And B, especially in an off-road vehicle, <laughs> when you're maybe miles from help and you got a flat tire and you need to fix it, it's got to work. It's got to work not just once. It's got to work every time. So, and from my, my opinion, I'm slapping my microphone. In my opinion, um, it's worth the money, a little bit extra money to, uh, to buy American-made high-quality product with over 100 years of proven service. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you that, okay? So you, you decide for yourself. So, but let's talk about this thing first of all. I'm just going to hold up here where you can see it, and then I'll show you the demo on it. So first of all, uh, this is the High Lift Extreme model. Matter of fact, you can see it where it says right there. It says extreme, okay? What that means is this functions just like a regular high lift jack, but it also functions as a spreader, a winch, or a clamp. And I'll show you that. And that's that's with the addition of this little top part here, this little top clamp part. So, um, and that that really makes gives it super capability because um, if you just need a short, you need to winch yourself out of a situation or whatever, this thing will do it. This is the 48 inch model. It's also available in a 60 inch model if you got one of them big old monster trucks. But I think for most of us, a 48 is, is, is good enough. I think it has a 7,000 pound um, rating, 7,000 pound load rating. So it's stinking strong. And it'll go way, way low. Let me show you just how low it'll go. It'll go that far. So what is that? That's like what, four inches off the ground from the base to the, to the jack. And uh, one more thing I'll show you. This is the keeper that's supposed to keep the handle with it. Um, I let it ride around in the back of the Bronco, slamming around, and it got broken. So, shame on me. I know you've probably seen a lot of people have them mounted on the hood of their Jeep here. Uh, this one came with a shovel. This one actually does have a uh, high lift jack. You can see it back there, and we'll show you that in just a minute. And it's mounted on the side of the front runner roof rack, which is pretty cool. And it's the Patriot Edition. We'll show you that in just a minute, too. But first, let me just show you how to use this thing like a jack. And we'll talk about the other capabilities of this thing and then we will wrap this up okay so as you can see here are the jack now first of all right off the bat you can see this bumper is probably uh, 15 to 18 inches off the ground so a regular jack is just not going to do it a little scissor jack's not going to do it a little bottle jack's not going to do it I mean, anything that's a little higher you're really going to need something that's probably not stock so the good thing about this jack is it will go way up to way up to here so, and I'll put this, honestly, instead of me just reading off a whole bunch of boring numbers to you, I'll put this stuff in the video description below, but let me show you how this thing works. Okay, first of all, I've got also, I'm going to go and show you this. I've got this off-road base plate that actually um, just gives you a little wider base plate area here for stability if you're in some mud or soft, soft dirt or something like that. And the bottom of this thing is designed to fit the uh, base of uh, this, this, this cavity here anyway is designed to fit the base of the jack but i'm going to set it up here right now so i don't scratch up everything just to show you um how i break this jack so this fits in here like so right see it fits in there very well you see this thing has a little lever right here and it's got two of these little little buttons here and the way you work that is obviously it's like a, any any jack as you do this it's either going to go up or down so if you want it to go up, you raise this up till it locks up. And then as you crank it, it's gonna ratchet up. The way it works, you've got these little plungers here with springs on them, and they they go into the holes as, as it lifts up. So they're just spring-loaded ratchets. Now you want to drop it down, open it up like that, drop that down, and then start. Okay. And, and it slides like that right now when it's got a load on it. In my experience, it didn't do that. One thing you want to make sure you do, though, is you want to make sure you keep your face and head and any other part of your body out of this arc in this range here when you're jacking this thing down because if it does spring back up, it's not going to feel good. So let me back you back up and I'll show you how to jack up something, how to jack up the, uh, the Jeep with this thing. Okay, so let's just jack it up now. The first thing you're going to want to do, make sure that the switch on the side is in the <laughs> the switch on the side is in the up position, okay? 
It's a lot easier when you're not trying to make a video. I'm gonna put it in the base just because it's a little muddy and wet out here. So, and it fits in there really good. Now, before there's a load on it, you can get it where you want it to be. You can just lift it up to get it about in place. You just lift it up, you don't have to jack it all the way up. Now that you've got it where you want it, you start putting a load on it. And when it clicks, that's as far as you need to go. You don't have to keep pushing it the rest of the way down. It's just a ratchet. You can hear it clicking. When it clicks, that means it's time to go the other direction. Now, very, very important. Stay out of the path of this bar. Don't stick your head down here, whatever, because just in case something happened, it could fling up pretty quickly. So you don't want to do that, okay? I mean, literally, you could, you could really, really, really get hurt. But we're going to go ahead and lift this thing up. You can see that it's... Okay, so we're, we're far enough up to uh, change this tire now if we needed to. But you want to go further? Okay, let's go further. You can see the jacks kind of leaning a little bit, so uh, you know you have to think, take that stuff into account. So starting to lean, that's, that's, that's all I'm gonna do for now. I guess I could put it on the very front and maybe get it balanced, but we're good. So now, you saw how it fell down earlier when I dropped it down? It's because it was not under a load. Just to be safe, push this down. Now it's, while it's under a load, it's not just gonna fall. You just reverse the process to, to lower the vehicle. But when it comes up, it's got all the weight on it, so it's gonna pull up pretty, pretty hot, hard. So again, make sure you stay out of the path of the uh, handle. And you'll also notice when it gets to the bottom and the load is off, this thing's gonna potentially just fall down because that's the way a ratchet works. There's nothing to hold it. There's no tension on it. You wanna make sure you don't have anything underneath it in the way. All right, so it didn't. Okay, so it did. <laughs> See what I mean? And there you go. That's how you uh, use it for a jack. Let's talk about the other capabilities of this and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so that's again the jack functions, but uh, the extreme version comes with this additional um, little brace at the top and this greatly, greatly enhances the functionality. Uh, so, for example, a couple things you can do. This is just a, uh, a wing nut here loosen it up and you see it fits in every one of these holes so what's cool about this is take this off got a couple of washers here oh, I'm sorry you can take the base plate off first of all we'll just got a little uh, snap ring here pull that out take your base plate off you can use this thing like a jaws kind of like a jaws of life you just spread it apart, okay? You could do the exact opposite. Put this up here. And actually put it up here, like so. And then you got a clamp. You can squeeze something together if you need to squeeze something together. You could also use it like this and connect this to your Jeep or to your vehicle. Connect this into a tree and as you um, clamp it together, it's gonna pull closer and closer. It works like a winch, does that make sense? So, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna decrease the space between them, which means you're moving the vehicle. Um, so, uh, several different options here with the extreme version, so which, which I think gives a lot of added capability. And it's probably another 20, 30 bucks for this. And, and the, uh, this thing's made, also has a, a chain slide in here. You could use this thing if you put it on the very top, like so. Then you can hook a chain in here and you can do the same thing. Actually, you would probably want to do it like this. Put, put your chain in here. You bolt it right here at the end. And as you winch them together, you've got almost four, four feet of pull there. So as these come together, you're going to be, you're going to have like a four foot come along. And if you can block your vehicle, that four foot, raise it out again, four more feet, keep going. Uh, you can pull yourself out of a lot of situations. Anyway, that's the High Lift uh, Jack Extreme version, which I think is pretty extreme. And I said I was gonna show you the uh, 
Patriot version. Let's take a look at that real quick and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so I said I was going to show you the, the Patriot edition, and that is here. And you can see it is the, um, this is a 48 inch version also. It's exactly the same, mechanic, mechanically the same. It's, it's all cast, made in the USA. This one is uh, called the Patriot Edition because it's red, white, and blue. It has a blue jack body and jack riser, a white handle. And this one comes with a red handle keeper. The handle keeper is usually an option. Uh, and it's got this little different end on here, which you can just hook a chain or whatever onto, but it's not really, um, it doesn't have the same capabilities. Uh, also, a, a portion of the proceeds of this goes to Hope for Warriors, which is a uh, nonprofit organization that, that helps benefit combat wounded veterans and families of combat wounded, those wounded in combat and killed in combat. So um, uh, it's nice to know that part of, your, part, of the, part of the money is going to that. Again, 100% made in the USA. So, uh, I guess with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. Again, uh, this long overdue. I kind of kept getting distracted and I just really couldn't figure out how to use this thing on the Bronco. Didn't think it would work. As it turns out, it worked just fine. Uh, if you saw the videos of the Bronco, the, the back bumper was really jacked up and I tried to fix that and I never could get it fixed. I think, I think it was all messed up. Um, I know it was all messed up. So anyway, a lot of issues with that, that thing. I just got tired of it and decided I would sell it and I had a good opportunity to get this Jeep. So. And it came with a high lift jack already, but I, uh, I wanted to show you the uh, extreme version because I think it's really, really cool. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can see the way this thing is attached. Uh, that's a front runner roof rack, and it's, um, we're going to be taking a closer look at the front runner system in another video. But it's got these brackets that, that, that hook it right there. Really simple to get to. Basically, you got a couple of wing nuts, and you can get to your jack. You know, a, a lot of people put them on the hood. I, you know... If, if you don't have a roof rack, that might be your only option, but I like it up there better. It's kind of out of my view, out of my vision. So anyway. Chuck Norris has a diary. It's called the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, no pun intended. I, I know this has probably been a jacked up video, but I, I hopefully it did, I did a reasonably decent job of showing you how the high lift jack works and showing you what I think is so great about it. And I got to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I know you can get cheaper, cheaper jacks, similar jacks um, from other places like Harbor Freight. But let me, I just put it this way. First of all, they came up with the design. They, they've been in business for over a hundred years. They're the people who figured this process out. They make their stuff 100% in the USA with American parts, American people. So if I am going to be off potentially in the middle of nowhere, trying to uh, jack up a several thousand pounds and work on it, um, I'm gonna trust my life and, and my uh, the ability to, to get what I need done completed to the folks at High Lift. So. Um, you do what you want to do, but um, that's, that's my two cents. And again, it's, yes, it's a little more money, but man, you know, some things are just worth the money. So anyway, I, once again, thanks to the folks at High Lift for sending me this way, way, way too long ago so I could show it to you. Um, thanks for their patience. They never beat me up or bothered me about it. Um, they just make really good stuff and I highly, highly recommend them. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.